Hey brother, as we conclude our 40 day journey in the book of Proverbs, I come to one of my favorite, most cryptic, uh, most interesting passages in all of Proverbs for me. It's found in Proverbs chapter 30, starting in verse 24. Four things on earth are small, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they provide their food in the summer. The rock badgers are a people not mighty, yet they make their homes in the cliffs. The locusts have no king, yet all of them march in rank. And then this verse, the lizard you can take in your hands, yet it is in king's palaces. I hope you won't be offended if I call you a lizard today. I love this proverb. How does a man sharpen another man? He reminds him that God has deployed him in a critical place. I love how this verse shows us that, you know, there's there's mighty and powerful walls and guards and moats around the king's palace, but a lizard is in there. I'd like you to think about yourself that way because you are inside some kind of power structure. You're inside the power structure of your extended family. You're inside your occupation. You speak the language. People depend on you. You're inside meetings where money and strategies are being decided. You are inside the council of those who are very influential around you. And you're there and they don't know perhaps who you represent. But you represent the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and God has slipped you into a place of influence. If you know me, you know there's nothing I love more than to think about how God has deployed his men and his man, and that is you. You don't need a pulpit to preach from. You don't need to be me to have a ministry. You don't have to be a missionary who's supported by others. God has placed you somewhere where you have influence, you have credibility, people trust you, you speak the language, you're mixing with people that I will never meet, you're mixing with people who will never come to a church event, but God has placed you there. So brother, I want you to be a lizard today and recognize that God has slipped you in, under the radar, into a place where you can have enormous influence by your character, by the way you use your words, by the words that you don't speak, by the way that you're trustworthy with your eyes, by the way you treat the women in your world, and certainly by the way you produce ethical agreements and you keep your promises to people. I just wanna urge you today, God has placed you as the living church out there, a place where I could never go, a place where maybe nobody else hearing this message could ever go, but you're there. God has slipped you into the king's palace. And I pray for you today that you will have influence by the Spirit's guidance to people that God has placed you with and that you will be that person that they remember as one who represents God. So today, have your influence. Enjoy where you are. Be deployed with a purpose today. God bless. Bye-bye.